Howdy folks, and we've got two blades sent in to us this week that are, I've never seen these before, so they're pretty cool. One is for wood, the other one is for metal, and the capacity of what you can do with these looks pretty interesting, so uh, yeah. Let's check all this out, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna start with the wood blade first. I wanna thank Tatinia over there in the, at Graph for sending these over to me so I could check them out and review them. We have been waiting, I think, since June to get these in. The uh, metal one, I think it was, was back ordered actually. Uh, they tell me they've sold something like 85 million of these units. So they've been doing very well and obviously they must work pretty good. But uh, this feature gives you a lot of different uh, things. You can rip, you can you know cut wood, but you can also carve. You could notch, uh, there's just a lot, whatever your imagination comes up with, you can probably do with one of these. Now there's a, uh, there's something here that uh, kind of scared me a little bit because these mount on, yeah, your grinder, which you know yourself, these things can do about 10,000 RPM. So the blade is rated for 13,500, so it's, the blade is rated for that huge high speed and of course it is a high speed cut. So if you're a woodworker this might be something pretty darn interesting to get into. But safety first because when I first saw this I was thinking back to uh, Bauer when they put out those uh, chainsaw blades and then I heard the word something about uh, danger, danger Will Robinson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And so the uh, blades are only as safe as you and me and you know the number one thing was these come in a couple of different sizes and I've got the four and a half inch because my grinder is four and a half inch I want that guard on there of course I also want to always be able to use my handle whenever I'm grinding if you've ever had one of these get away from you you can get hurt pretty badly and uh, this grinder wheel just the grinding wheel can sometimes catch and bump and jump and uh, sometimes if you're into some close quarters or something, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble pretty quick. So let's open this package and get it on the grinder and let's, uh, let's start cutting some wood. Bang, uh, everything came to a stop. The uh, differences in different uh, grinders of this type can be a problem. And this guard actually runs into the blade. So if you put the blade on, you'll actually hit the guard and catch it on the, this is one of those cheap Porter cable models. So that's a problem. That was about four hours ago. Right now I'm waiting, the part should be here in a second. And we'll be able to put that on here to get enough spacing so we can get this back on. And then we can go ahead and run our test. So, but I just thought I'd let you know, uh, certain grinders should be fine, some grinders will not. I do have another grinder here, but it's battery operated, but it will not, you know, it doesn't conflict with this at all. So as soon as we get a modification here to where we can run these blades on this uh, quarter cable grinder, <laughs> then, then we'll get over here to the lumber and we'll start uh, carving up a mess. Yes. Okay, it's, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you how bad it was. The part came in, it was the wrong size. So we got another one and it was wrong. And the third one was wrong. So this is now, this was Monday, it was. It's now Tuesday morning. And I did something I really didn't want to do, but I went to the 3D printer and I made myself an adopter uh, fitting that would raise the blade away so that it won't hit the guard here so we can use this. Uh, the other thing I had to check on and You'll have to take a look again. It should be the same, but uh, made sure that this is facing outward so that the blade is traveling the right way. And also sort of jogged my grinder and watched it come to a stop to make sure that this wheel is actually turning in the correct direction, obviously. And so now we're ready to uh, play with this little weapon. All right, just before I get started, I thought I would just go ahead with my silly uh, washer. That I'll show you that washer sometime <laughs> when I get it off. but. Uh, what I did was I just did a quick touch on this and I, honestly, I mean, I just felt like I just barely touched it and I took this chunk of wood out of here without even realizing how fast it was taking it off. So yeah, this is an amazing, but you know, really a tool you're going to have to keep a real close eye on it. And I hope God forbid it never gets away from you because this just went off like it just, you know, what is it? The old knife through hot, you know, a hot knife through butter or something. It, it just, 
Look at this thing. I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, that just, I mean, I just touched that and it was like, pow, you know, the wood, chunk of wood is gone. Uh, also, there's a lot of sawdust around here right now. <laughs> now, you could do, um, I've seen people make bowls. Uh, they've carved uh, pelicans into wood, sort of like, you know, stuff like that, with these blades. What I didn't realize was the blade is just so aggressive. I mean, it just attacks the uh, lumber. In this case, it's just obviously just a piece of pine, but they say you could do aerated uh, concrete, uh, plastics. There's a lot of different materials, obviously. You know, you could be, if you're having to cut something, this will cut for you. Probably the only uh, limitation would be the actual depth of the cut. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to cut seven or eight inches deep or something, but obviously you've got all this blade area here to work with. The other thing you, I've seen them do is, is like a, a groove where they do like a concave cut through a piece of wood or, you know, uh, you could sharpen this into a pencil point. There's all kinds of, you know, basic things you can do, but carving, you could really get crazy with it. But if you also have uh, something where you want to just nip something off or create a, you know, something like this. You know, I just put a groove right through this wood that's an, that's an eighth of an inch wide and it goes straight through. So that's, you know, my only concern, I guess, is the control. You're really going to have to keep your hands tight on your grinder when you're doing something. And you're going to have to be really aware of your cut and pre-plan it or something because otherwise you can get hurt pretty easily, I think. Wow, look at that. I mean, that just, that's like working with uh, one of those chainsaws. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy, but it's an interesting tool. I've never seen these before, and I guess I'm gonna say one thing. Yeah, danger, 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 Will Robinson. But yeah, and that's a, there's a lot of uh, sawdust all over my shop now, so that's, that's gonna take some cleaning. But okay, when we come back, let's take a look at the metal one. Good God, that that is uh, that just that is a <coughs> that just man that just attacks everything around. A lot of sawdust. Whew. We're gonna switch blades here. So very first, yeah, I'm gonna switch blades. Uh, so I'm gonna show you this uh, what I did to create this situation here. And let's see, we gotta need the lock button. And see if we can get this out of here. It's unplugged, so stop typing. There we go. Yeah, so what I had to do was I printed an adopter a washer, I guess you could say a spacer. Ended up doing this. This is uh, 22 and a half millimeter, uh, 44 millimeter over, overall, and five millimeter thick. And that just raises the blade up. I'll show you what was happening. I'll just put the blade down on, on here. And you can see it's absolutely, yeah, it's just absolutely running into the uh, guard. And there was no way to uh, raise it up higher, obviously, without some kind of a washer or a spacer or, you know, do something. So that's what we did. Anyways, next thing to do, let's get this out of the packaging, get it mounted, and I guess we'll need to use this again for now. Oh, in the future, if you guys ever have these uh, and you run the wheel down, I used to, and I don't know, I don't have one right now for some reason, but I used to keep just this insert part and I used to use that as my uh, spacer. I don't recommend, you know, PLA plus plastic, whatever for this, but it's doing the job today, so good enough. And to cut metal, I think we'll have to go outside. The sawdust in here right now is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so I've got it out of the package here. Uh, the uh, says here, longer life, up to 5,000 cuts, depending on work material type and thickness. Constant blade diameter, which obviously it would be because you only have the diamond grid on the outside of this. Uh, let's see, unlimited storage life. That's good. That means it can lay around for a while until you need to use it. Burst proof due to a durable body material of the blade. I'm not quite sure. 
I guess what they mean is this thing won't explode like a like a grinding uh, wheel would do or something maybe. Less spark operation. That's kind of interesting. 1.5 millimeter thin kerf, which is it's only going to take that much material to uh, cut through the metal, so that's good too, and no smell. Because I've seen a lot of guys make some metal things and use a grinding wheel and sit there and go over and over and over and over again until they go through the metal. So this would probably be better because it'll just absolutely, it's made to cut through the metal. But again, we're going to do, we'll go outside when we do all this. I wanted to show you this. This was cut off with a grinder an old grinding wheel and it's kind of a mess and there's quite a bit of you know edge and stuff here so what I want to do is I'm just going to cut back oh about a half inch or so of this rusted metal and just sort of make a line and then we'll try to cut it with the uh, the fancy new graph wheel and see how that works Wow, we're back in the shop, and uh, this uh, wood blade is, uh, yeah, wow, pretty, it'll gouge, it'll go. <laughs> Cuts pretty good. I was wondering about the metal one. I think I had more curiosity about that. A couple of things worth noting. Uh, right after this was cut, I noticed that it didn't have the heat in it that it usually has, you know, when you're using like one of the old, uh, the old, old fashioned grinding wheels or something. So it didn't have as much heat on the metal. You were able to actually pick it up. It was warm, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't burn your fingers hot kind of thing. So that was sort of interesting. The next thing I looked at was the wheel itself, and there's very little grit or anything showing anywhere here at all on this wheel. And so yeah, if it'll cut 5,000 times, that's pretty amazing too. And also was able to make a really nice straight line. It was really super easy to control. So if you're making a pattern or something out of metal and you're trying to cut it, this would give you the opportunity to do that really nicely. And so we've got the metal blade, which was like, yeah, definitely impressive. Wow. And I've got a wood blade here that is definitely impressive. Now, uh, we'll get back to this, uh, I guess, Thursday because they sent me more than uh, one of each. So... You know, <laughs> you know what that means, yes. But we'll get to that after Thursday, I guess we'll do something about that, because uh, what do we have coming up on Thursday? I was afraid of that, yeah. The famous pink screwdriver, <laughs> but the overall feature looks to me like good quality. Uh, Price-wise, I'll have to take a quick look at that myself, but they're worth whatever they're worth, because both these blades do an excellent job, and uh, I think they've got, Graph has definitely got the quality, they've got it, they've got the quality down. There's no question, there is good quality in both of these blades. So now, I'm gonna provide you a link, like I said, in the description below. I believe uh, Tatinia there has given me a really nice link, uh, hopefully maybe a discount, I don't know where we can find these. And in the meantime, uh, boy, it's been, a, it was a rough two days getting this thing set up, but. Uh, you know about YouTube and my channel you know, just it happens, but I'll show you what happens when it happens Yeah, you know <laughs> The uh, thanks so much for watching today and looking in on Coffee and tools, you know, and please like share subscribe ring the notice bell Thursday We got a draw next Thursday. We'll have another draw. I'm sure and uh, meantime. I'm out of here and over and out